Okay, so I want you to tell me what you think how much this tiny Millennium Falcon is selling for at uh, at the official Lego shop. So what, what the official price is. It's pretty tiny, as you can see. It's, it's pretty small. It's really not that big. What do you think Lego is charging for that? The answer is 85 euros. So it's even, even, even more in dollars. But they're charging 85 euros for that thing. It is a nice model, I'm not gonna lie. But is it worth a hundred bucks almost? For that. And again, I don't care that it has like a bunch of super cheap pieces. But like tiny, like a lot of pieces, a lot of tiny pieces. It is not... How, how do you see 85 euros in that? Just like, look at the size of that thing. It's tiny. Also, it's quite funny that they actually print on the uh, tiles here. So this is all printed on in this 85 euro set, okay? But at, on the Venator, this whole thing is a sticker. And it has a different color than the rest of the set because it's a sticker. So the gray is different gray than the rest. Yes, on an on a 650 euro set, they put stickers on this 85 euro set. This is all printed, like these things. You don't have to put a single sticker. 650 euro set, stickers, and stickers peel after a time. They brittle, so that they, they, they're they done after some time. And it is like display set, obviously, 650 euros. No kid is gonna buy that to play. Um, so it's for adults that want to display that and the sticker is going to riddle. This very, very important symbol is going to just be gone after some time. I know it, I have a slave one that it is going to, it actually brittles and peels off when it's out in the sun. Um, anyways, this ridiculous price is not all. I have this for you. What do you think this is going to sell for? So it has um, this little platform, two tiny trees, that is just the bottom of the trees. Just stops there with some tiny leaves. And two speeders, three figures. Can't be that expensive, right? That also actually sells for 80 euros. 80 euros for this. Like how premium does Lego want to be? It's, it's just like for the richest of rich people. This is like, how can I kid? I know this is like, the diorama thing that's not supposed to be for kids, but let's look, at, let's look at something that is supposed to be for kids, okay? That's just pure playing. This. How much? 30 euros. For one speeder. And whatever this is. <laughs> for one speeder. Baby Yoda or Grogu. Two clones that you get in a battle pack anyways. And this guy, 30 bucks for this freaking speeder, man. And nothing else. That's literally it. 30 bucks, man. That's like a battle pack that was like 10, 12 euros back then. And with a few less pieces, but seriously, 30 is so expensive. Like imagine how long you, as a kid, you have to save up for something like that. Like, realistically. And, like, imagine that's all you can buy with that money. That's kind of depressing, honestly. Like, you can have a speeder and then you can fight the clones. That's, like, all you can do with that. Uh, that's kind of sad, honestly. Like, for the kids, you know? Uh, because people, like, the LEGO fans always say, um, not, not, not the LEGO fans, more like the LEGO uh, addicts, the uh, fanboys which are really not good for Lego as a whole because they're teaching Lego that whatever prices you put it at, what, like however low you make the quality, we don't care, we're gonna buy your product, you can just keep on doing whatever you're doing. Not good. You, like, these people need to teach Lego a lesson, but they won't ever, which is the problem, which is why Lego always just keeps upping the prices and lowering the quality and the piece count and people are just eating it up because it is Lego. And that really is not good. So, 
We have this as well. Also, I think this is supposed to be a playset. It, it, it is supposed to be a playset. It is not like advertised as any diorama stuff. 55 bucks. Half of 100 bucks for this little thing. Like one wall. And this wall, like it, it is missing all the, uh, the the rest. It's just this, and like a bunch of figures, for fifty five, really. And I think for Lego, that's even considered value because you get a lot of figures. But how, man? For me as a kid, fifty five dollars was a lot, and you get like this. You get a little a corridor, with without without the other wall without anything it's just like the two walls but you get but you get the awesome um figure here you get the uh the fives where they where they are, they are too cheap to actually give him a karma so they just print it on this on the front and that's it that it's not going to be printed on the sides it's just been printed on the front because lego has to save money right just like the legs they just stop printing here like the, this part down here not printed this also super cheap like the uh portrait and i'm not gonna start with I, I did that in another video i hate the new clone design they had it perfect in 2014 i don't know why they changed it to like this mixed clone wars x uh, realistic style it just looks terrible not gonna lie um yeah so that is that is what you get for 55 euros from lego nowadays yeah it's pretty insane and people have to kind of wake up to that because like just like look at these prices it, it doesn't it really doesn't get better it's just scrolling through here these atrocious prices and people are just eating it up and really lego isn't making any interesting sets as well in my opinion because we are missing out on so much stuff like the bad batch had three seasons now and we got like the bad batch ship and i don't re i don't think they made another set with the bad batch ship Oh, and, and, and Cat Bane's ship for some reason, which really wasn't that important to the story, but like not, nothing else? We didn't get a single TK Trooper battle pack? Republic Commandos? They're super important and vital to the story? Nothing of that sort. We just got the sh like the Bad Bad ship and like this Cat Bane ship and that's pretty much it. That's like, what are they making sets of? They decided to make a set of like, of like the spider droid. $50, by the way, for this little spider droid. Ahsoka's ship, which is tinier than the original that released many, many years ago. And it costs $75. You have to be freaking rich to actually have Legos now. Because, oh yeah, I want, I want this ship and I want it to... Let's just say I'm a kid. I want this ship and I want another ship to like fight it right pretty normal thought okay so 75 euros i want ahsoka i saw ahsoka in the series 75 euros oh my god i love the mandalorian i want his ship 65 euros quick maths 140 140 bucks to just have two small thin ships look there's not there's not much here there's really not much here 140 euros to just have these two ships. Like it, it, and it, it, this is, it, it's just the ships and the figures. Like you don't have any play area, nothing of that sort. And like I said, I really don't get why they don't make sets of cooler things. Like season seven of the Clone Wars, we got some super random shit. We didn't get anything interesting. For the last season of the Clone Wars, there were so many sets you could do. Yoda Starfighter for 35. Yeah, that's a steal. 35 for this? With two figures? They can just go here and it just... I'm just astonished that like we really got that far. And uh, LEGO fans are eating it up. The, the funny thing is, the main argument I'm hearing... Oh yeah, it's just a kid's toy. Why are you so pressed about it? But that it comes from the LEGO fanboys. That are like 30 and buying all the LEGO sets. And so it, it's so ironic that they always use the argument, it's just a kid's toy, it doesn't have to be super accurate. For example, with... Um, with the clones, because the new printing is terrible, why are the cheeks grey, why is this Clone Wars X uh, realistic style mixed helmets with helmet holes that look super annoying, and many details missing, no arm printing, the printed karmas instead of uh, the actual cloth stuff we got. 
and they just say it's a kid's toy it doesn't matter but they are the ones that actually buy that so uh, i don't know um this 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 gunship i don't know why they did that that ship out of all the guys it's cool that we got a new gunship design that is that, that is kind of cool but they downsized it they made it more expensive than the 2013 version which is absolutely superior they they removed the turrets uh, the, the 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 holds uh, the glass domes and put cannons there terrible decision i don't know who did that like that they they downscale people are saying oh my god it's better now because it's more accurate to the figures okay but they up the price <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh and don't get me started on the fox figure like like if you pay that money if you have designers it goes to 10 people that check the set right i hope I hope it goes to like 10 people that actually check out the set and and, and, and approve it so it actually get, gets produced in the tens of thousands for people to buy all around the world, okay? How do you not see how wrong the figure is? There you go. Uh, found somebody on Reddit, Rip Nick, on uh, LEGO Star Wars Leaks. Everything wrong with the figure. Yeah. Um, this is not just small things. Like I said, it, goes to, it has to go through a lot of people um, to to get it approved, right? And it costs 150 euros. So, like, almost no kid can afford that. So it's for adults. And the adults, when you tell them that it's wrong, they just say, Lego fans are never happy. Star Wars fans are never happy. You're just nitpicking. It's a kid's toy. It doesn't matter. But you are the ones buying it. You know, you're just getting fucked over and, and, and you are protecting a comp company from taking accountability for their errors. Look at this uh, figure. They, they, here's everything that's wrong with that, with him. This is how it should look, okay? And this is how um, Lego made it look. There's no denying that the holes aren't messing up the prints. Yeah, okay, the holes look terrible, but uh, he needs he needs the holes to have the visor actually. Helmet stripe far too thin, doesn't go all the way. Yeah, wrong, just wrong uh, stripes here. Oh yeah, they, they didn't double print on the torso. They didn't double print on the white, and as you can see, this white is very different from this white. This is more like a pink, because they didn't bother for $150 set to print over it twice with the white. So they print over it once, now it's pink. And they don't give a fuck. And people are still protecting them. Yeah, and if you check on Google, everywhere, literally, the, the chest is red. This part of the chest is red, just the top chest the, 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 this part of the chest plate the top chest is white everybody will know said uh, yeah how do you how do you fuck that up I, i'm genuinely curious how you fuck that up do you take references right like i said you have so many people working on that and just gets approved i mean they also fucked up with the symbol where they put their wrong symbol on the website but like I genuinely how do you how do how do you mess that up i don't get it and then like the People controlling the sets, right? There has to be, have to be people that actually know the law or anything about Star Wars that have to have to notice that there's something wrong, right? Um, oh yeah, the base cape, yeah, obviously they just put it on again. Not on the sides, not on the back, just just the whole thing instead of actual cloth to save money. It looks terrible. You can't cannot really tell that there's even supposed to be something here. Oh yeah, and apparently that I didn't even notice. The outer rim of the waist cape isn't black, it's red. Oh yeah, and here... <laughs> They made. They may also made this the knee uh, protection. They made it white, even though it is supposed to be red, because he has pretty much the inverted look of um, the shock trooper, as you can see. This is red. This is white. Red, white. Red, white. White, red. Aha! Uh -huh, just the top part. Oh oh. Just like here, white. Oh oh oh. If you check Google, you can see that it is supposed to be red. There's one fan depiction that got that wrong. Did they really take it from there? They, they look at a fan render of the thing and of him and use that. But even the fan render got this part right, so it, I don't think it's that. That's insane. This is how it's supposed to look like. This is red. This is red. Beautiful waist cape. Wonderful printing. Arm printing. $150. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're getting... You're getting fucked over for 150 euros. Also, they put the until now exclusive figure of the Venator for 650 bucks. 
they put a Rex and a Yular in there. And now they made the Rex available to everybody via 13 euros. Like, I don't mind, I don't mind this thing. I don't, I don't mind it at all. The problem is, they said they don't want to make important figures only available to collectors because every kid deserves to play with that. Oh my god, that Lego is so nice, guys. See, they're just so nice. I want every kid to have this little thing. The fact is, they're just greedy and uh, lazy as well. Because why would you put Rex here in the first place? Then the question shouldn't be why are they releasing this thing for 13 euros with the Rex figure? The question should be why did they put the Rex here in the first place? If they're so keen on that, uh, yeah, we don't want anybody to, uh, we don't want the kids to miss out on important figures, why did you put Rex here in the first place? Just put another figure here, let that figure be exclusive, just like the, just like the Yularen, and uh, you're good, you know? They, they call, make it a not super important figure and make it exclusive. So the collectors have something. Yeah, the non-collectors and everybody else can just get cheap Rex. So both are winning. But they decided to just put a Rex here because they're greedy and lazy. And then, it's, then they decided, oh, we need a new battle pack. And I think uh, we need a little microfighter. And I think Rex is going to sell very well. And we upped the price as well. So uh, let's put Rex here. Because we are so kind, we want everybody to have Rex. Is that really the reason? Is that really the reason? And in the past, they've made a lot of important figures exclusive to uh, expensive sets. With like 130 euro sets with the uh, Ahsoka and everything. I remember that, you know, and don't don't try to act nice now. And don't, don't tell me that you've changed. It's just, you put the Rex here, let's be honest, you put the Rex here to get even more people to buy the set to resell the Rex. You want people to actually just buy the set to resell. So you sell more of that set. And now you are coming at with at us with, we don't want uh, kids to be barred of uh, this important figure. So we are putting it in the battle pack for 13 euros. And now the figure is worth it in this set. <clears throat> yeah. like I'd be insulted if I buy this and I get Rex. I'd, I'd honestly be insulted. If I buy a 650 bucks set with stickers that you have to apply, and a figure that is worth like 10 bucks in the, at, at the end. You know, then it's honestly just, like, like, honestly just, just have the Yularen. I'd feel less insulted if you just have the Yularen instead of the Rex, uh, than both. So, yeah, that is like my news, uh, my takes on the new Lego, the state of Lego Star Wars, and why I haven't bought a set from any of the newer years. I'm talking like since 2020 or I honestly stopped after 2014, you know, and if I'm still buying sets, I'm buying old sets from the Clone Wars because they're actually bigger, better. You can get them on eBay for cheap and they're actually ch actually in interesting sets that have not been re-released and that are super cool, like the Republic Dropship, for example. That's something they could remake, but honestly, if they'd remake it, they'd also pr probably make a, a billion mistakes and up the price, like double the price but make the set smaller, just like here. Uh, thank you very much for watching my rant. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it's not something different other than Counter-Strike. But yeah, <laughs> if you want more of that, uh, tell me. Hit the like button if you want more. Down vote button if you want less. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one as always.